Hey guys, DB Rye here, and today we are back with part two of What If Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Was in Dragon Ball Z? And well, if you haven't checked out part one, I recommend you guys do. I'll make sure it appears in the cards or, um, or just check out the playlist in the description. And well, let's get started. Continuing right where we left off. It was a very interesting first part where we got towards the end of the battle between Goku and Piccolo and Raditz and then having Power Rangers interfere in the battle and Rita Repulsa and her minions also running interference. Rita, who is quite impressed with the Saiyan warrior Raditz and decides she wants to make use of his power to destroy the Power Rangers. How typical. And now we continue that story. Now, as the Rangers have been put through the ranks, so to speak, going through Master Roshi's Turtle Hermit style training, which the Rangers have actually managed to pick up no problem, All part of their training in truly mastering their own power, making their power truly their own. And well, meanwhile, in the far reaches of the galaxy, on the far side of the galaxy, Nappa and Vegeta are still just taking it easy on that little planet where we saw them at the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. Freshly well conquered in the name of Frieza, them eating the spoils, and at this point they're not interested in going to Earth, because, well, if Raditz can get himself captured by a bunch of weaklings, Vegeta thinks, um, Raditz is just not worth the time. He's not worth going there to rescue. And, um, well, this is where, out of nowhere, Vegeta and Nappa are attacked by the Putty Patrol. Because Lord Zed has now come to this part of the galaxy to try and essentially take it from Frieza. That's got to kind of suck, because Frieza just pretty much basically just finished conquering that part of the universe. All evidence of, um, Vegeta and Nappa's handiwork. And they're... Surround, surrounding Nappa and Vegeta making their weird noises. Weird noises, the putties make. Whatever that noise is. And well, Vegeta and Nappa have their scouters and they're just, um, couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> These things, ha! Hardly a power level of 50! Nappa! Why don't you introduce yourself? No oh, problem, Vegeta. This can be fun. And with just um, lifting his two fingers up in that way, Nappa does. Yep, roasted and toasted putties. And, um, well, Lord Zed can, is more or less watching the whole thing. Those warriors aren't half bad! You know what? They would do better under my lead! But, it's a shame they are the enemy! And well... In case you're wondering where Lord Zed's watching them from... Lord Zed is on his um, gigantic Zord. I believe he calls it Serpentine or Serpentine. Something like that, anyway. Basically, a really big dragon. Like, tw 20 times the size of, um... Red Rage's... Dragon Thunderzord. Anyway, it's that big. You can... You can see... You can see it at, on daylight, when it's not fully in the atmosphere. And Lord Zed has already, um... Punched in the controls to make the Zord fire and wipe out the planet. 
and, and well, Vegeta is noticing this. There's no time to throw a key blast and blast it away. Nappa, we better get out of here on the double. Vegeta and Nappa make it to their space pods and just manage to get off the planet in time before it's blown away completely. Nappa, Nappa's all confused. What? What was that? Did, did Freezer just blow up the planet? No way, Nappa. That definitely wasn't Freezer. And, um, well. Well, um, where to? Vegeta, where are we going? We're gonna have to go to Earth. Something isn't right. We need answers. Um, how are we going to Earth? Didn't you get a good look at those creatures, Nappa? They're clearly the same things that took Raditz. Whoever controls them will have the answers we want. Oh, you're thinking about talking to them? Them Power Rangers? What a ridiculous name. But yes. <sighs> Why do I get the feeling we're going to be meeting another Ginyu Force? In the meantime, our heroes have regrouped and Rita is now ready to put her own plan into action as um, she has successfully mind controlled Raditz and is sending him to um, cause havoc. Now, Raditz isn't thinking about, you know, capturing Gohan or um, recruiting his brother anymore. He is obeying his new Empress. Whatever you say, Rita, my Empress, and is attacking, is attacking whatever city he basically finds. I don't necessarily want to say Angel Grove because, you know, there are plenty of cities in the Dragon Ball universe he can attack as well. Either way, this gets the Rangers' attention, along with um, Piccolo and Goku, who are currently training Gohan, so he can better defend himself. It's just in case Raditz ever turned up again. And well, the Rangers are assembled, and so are Piccolo and Goku again, along with Gohan, and. Gohan is afraid to go near Raditz, you know, first battle and all. But at least we're getting this earlier on in the show. And the Rangers, Goku and Piccolo are working together to battle and best um, Raditz. However, Rita also has Goldar and the Putty Patrol there to back Raditz up. And, um, well... With them sort of splitting the action, battling with the with the Rangers, it's pretty much Goku and Piccolo battling with Raditz again. Now they haven't had really that much recovery time, but thanks to the beating Goku took, he does have a bit of a Zankai boost, so he's a bit more on par with his brother. However, that all changes when Rita casts a spell into hypnotizing Raditz that he's looking at the full moon. And well, um, Rita's chanting there, Raditz, stare at the moon and grow. Now nah, we gotta do this properly. Make my Raditz grow. And Raditz grows and he's in his great ape state. But this, but unlike a wild saiyan, he is completely under Rita's control. And yeah, he's, it's not looking too good with the, for the Rangers who have no choice. They need Megazord power now. 
Yes, guys, it is Megazord versus Great Ape Raditz, but that's not all, because then Rita throws down her stuffs and makes Goldar grow. So, it's basically a two-on-one handicap match, Raditz and Goldar versus Megazord, which, needless to say, Megazord is quite overwhelmed. I mean, after all, this is Raditz and the Rules of Dragon Ball Z we're talking about. But surprisingly, Megazord can withstand a great deal of damage before it'll have to disassemble and go back, uh, go back in a sleep mode. Meanwhile, Piccolo's all, Goku, we need to cut off his tail. And with Goku more or less using himself, using himself as bait to distract Raditz, um... They're able, Piccolo is able to shoot off Raditz's tail for special beam cannon and um, restore him back to his normal state. And meanwhile, the Rangers have managed to um, get the upper hand on Giant Goldar. And well, it's now gotten to the point where Rita has to call her lackeys back. Raditz and Goldar disappear. You've won this round, Rangers, but we'll be back. And I think, with our uh, Napper and Vegeta now on the way, having um, escaped a near miss with Lord Zed, this is where we're going to leave things for now. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to leave um, a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again for um, part three. Catch you later.